It's hard to imagine Paris without the Eiffel Tower, but the iconic tower wasn't meant to stick around forever. Gustav Eiffel originally built his eponymous tower for the Exposition Universelle of 1889, and the city only leased the land to Eiffel for 20 years. After that, the land was to be returned to Paris and the tower demolished. Knowing the destruction in store for his precious monument, Eiffel set about finding some way to make the tower both useful and symbolic. On November 5, 1898, the Eiffel Tower participated in an early demonstration of radio when a signal was sent from the tower's tip to the Pantheon some 2.5 miles away. In the early 20th century, Eiffel doubled down on transforming his monument to progress into a full-fledged radio tower. By 1908, radio waves emanating from the Eiffel Tower could reach distances of more than 3,500 miles, and its creator had successfully proved its strategic worth. The Eiffel Tower then proved vital during World War I as it intercepted radio messages sent by the Central Powers. Today, the tip of the Eiffel Tower is still home to various radio antennas.